Hello, thank you for joining us on Air TV for English News Broadcast, live from the headquarters in Asmara. At 10.30 p.m., the following are the top stars. Eritrea participated at senior official meeting of the China-Africa Cooperation. Third Congress of National Union of Eritrean Women branch in UK. 140 million people displaced from their homes worldwide, UN stated. Ancient rock carvings revealed in receding Amazon waters. Eritrean delegation led by Ambassador Negasi Sengal, Director General of Research and Information at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, participated at the 16th Senior Officials Meeting of the China-Africa Cooperation held in Beijing from 23rd to 24th October. The meeting reviewed the progress of the implementation of big projects that China extended, 60 million U.S. dollars in the form of donation and soft loans from 2022 to 2024, according to the agreement, reached at the eighth meeting between Foreign Minister of China and Africa held in Dakar in November 2021. The meeting also approved that summits of the leaders of the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation to be convened in Beijing in 2024. The senior officials meeting conducted extensive discussion of the documents presented and adopted concise draft of the 16th senior officials meeting of the China-Africa Corporation. Mr. Eyob Tahla from the Eritrean Embassy in China attended the meeting in which representatives of 53 African countries took part. The UK branch of National Union of Eritrean Women conducted its third Congress on 21st October in Nottingham. Mr. Saleh Abdullah charged the first at the Eritrean Embassy in UK and Northern Ireland addressed the gathering attended by representatives of the Union branch from Europe. He explained the role played by the National Union of Eritrean Women in promoting awareness, enhancing organizational capacity and practically achieving women's equality. He also asked Congress participants to thoroughly review their previous efforts and create a roadmap for future initiatives. The chairman of the Union branch in Europe, Mrs. Negustitsa Gai, stated she expected the Congress to adopt suggestions and resolution based on the experience gained from the previous two Congresses. The reports that were presented were thoroughly discussed by the participants who also adopted a number of recommendations. This included making a concrete effort to thwart external hostilities, arranging for the heads of union branch to receive leadership training, making a greater effort to recruit new members, establishing union branch in the remaining cities and regions of Europe, and providing financial support for the completion of the Women's Training Center in Mandafara. Additionally, an executive committee for the three-year term was elected by the Congress. In the last three years, the number of members has doubled, and the Union branch has contributed over £100,000 to support the National Union, and its members participated in the implementation of national development programs. According to Mr. Tawel de Johannes, head of the Public and Community Affairs at the Eritrean Embassy, Employees of various lines, ministries, and national association in Tassani Sabzon voluntarily donated blood with a view to enrich blood supply of health facilities and to save lives with their renewable blood. Mr. Samuel Weldemarem, representative of the Blood Transfusion Service in the Sabzon, indicated that strong effort is being exerted to enrich blood supply of the health facilities in the Sabzon and commended the initiative the employees took. Mr. Samuel went on to say that voluntary blood donation will continue by the members of the Defense Force and urged others to follow the novel initiative. The program's participants expressed gratitude for being a part of the endeavor to improve the blood supply to medical facilities and urged others to join them in the admirable endeavor of using their renewable blood to save lives. We are live on Air TV. Stay tuned for international news.
The number of people displaced from their homes worldwide is estimated to have exceeded 114 million. The United States, the United Nations said on Wednesday. A record figure, the, ma the main drivers in the first half of 2023 were the conflicts and a prolonged humanitarian crisis and combination of drought, flood and insecurity. The UN Refugee Agency said in a statement, the number of people displaced by war, persecution, violence and human rights violation globally is likely to have exceeded 114 million at the end of September, the agency added. The number of displaced people worldwide jumped from 108.4 million people at the end of last year to 110 million people by the end of June 2023. This is according to UNHCR. The UNHCR spokesman confirmed to AFP that 114 million figure at the end of September was a record since the agency began collecting data in 1975. Forced displacement continues to grow as conflicts escalate. Human faces and other figures believed to be up to 2,000 years old exposed as Brazil River level hits record low. Human faces and other figures etched in stone up to 2,000 years ago have been revealed on Amazon River Bank as a historic drought in the Brazilian region has brought water levels to unprecedented lows. The petroglyphs, which include animals and other natural forms, have been revealed on the shores of the Rio Negro, an archaeological site known as the Ponto das Lages, a place of slabs. Researchers estimate the markings to be between 1,000 and 2,000 years old. The carvings had previously been sighted during a severe drought in 2010. When the, when the Rio Negro's water levels dropped to 13.63 meters, then an all-time low. They re-emerged this month with more markings up, appearing as the water recurred farther. Amid unusually dry season, which scientists attribute to the El Nino weather patterns and warming in the North Atlantic linked to the climate crisis. Now we have a quick review of the top stars. Eritrea participated at Senior Officials Meeting of China-Africa Cooperation. Third Congress of National Union of Eritrean Women, branch in UK. 140 million people displaced from their homes worldwide, UN stated. Ancient rock carvings revealed by receding Amazon waters. That was all with the news for this evening. Thank you for joining us. Have a good night.